what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric today is the second war of a series in a best of two and the the score from both wars are going to add together rtk got out of that one about 26 percent ahead and they are right around there i didn't calculate exactly how much it is but uh about 26 percent ahead and a star ahead and that is going to add to the score of this war to determine which team is going to move on to face the Queen Walkers in the grand finals of the Lego International Cup. Here we go with Mr. Tobar to kick it off. Starting in with a Queen Charge into Hybrid. He's got a Siege Barracks for this one. They're really sticking with the standard meta attacks here. Again, with the Queen Charge Hybrids, the Zap Lalos, the Inferno Dragons. Catches a double Black Mine there with that Coco Loon. High, high value. Drops in another one. Search for more. Queen, which way is she going? Is she going to go in? Ooh, I don't know if she's going to go in here. How does she path to get to that storage? Okay, she, she walks forward. Okay, that's where he wants her to go. Go for another wall break. Go deeper in the base here, get in the Town Hall compartment so we can reach both of the Expos and he can reach the Queen from there. Poison is down to get him through the Super Minions. Perfect placement on that. Always prioritize the Super Minions there with the uh, Poison. He loses another healer to a Black Mine. Oh no, that's the first one he lost. He got the Kokoloon to catch, get the other ones. He'll uh, pop the Rage there and he'll barely keep the Queen alive there. He froze the enemy Queen to push his way through. Siege Barracks down with the King on the bottom side. Healed through the Multi-Inferno. And a couple giant bombs there, but he'll heal right through that. It's not a big deal. The queen needs to get that bomb tower in the middle. And then ideally, she holds the tension of the scatter shot. But watch out for that single inferno. It's locking onto her now. Ground skillies tying up the miners as they try to work their way in the middle. They have the path in to shoot through the core. And the hogs and the king are working on the outside to keep the miner centered and get that scatter shot down. The queen does go through the wall. The healers transfer off her. She's going to go down to the single inferno. Rages are not needed for the queen at this point. So he throws them onto the miners to get him into the scatter shot. RC has picked up some of the healers now. One healer remaining. RC is staying safe. If the RC can survive, she can normally come in here and clutch it at the end. He has no more freezes and he's got two single infernos. He'll pop his ability early to make sure he gets a single inferno down before he has a chance to lock onto his RC. But he's running out of troops here and the warden has stolen that healer. He's got the pet still working on the outside. Mr. Tobar got the triple in the previous war. And it's looking like he might... Ooh, I don't know. He's... Did we call it? Is it over? He drops in a minion up on the uh, storage up on the top side. I don't think there's going to be enough damage or enough uh, building density to get anything to attack a wall. So they're going to have to go all the way to the storage and then they're going to attack the wrong wall to go into the into the wizard tower. And that's going to make sure the warden is getting dragged right through the inferno. He's not going to help out. It'll be a defense. However, it will be in the high 90s here. He will climb it to a 95%. And Legion Divina is going to be playing this uphill battle for a little bit longer. Still alive. Oh, there's some barbarians over here. I'm like, why is this not ending? There it is. All right. Let's try. I mean, RTK really has an opportunity right here to get a two-star advantage. If all right can get the triple here. Because they're already one star up from the previous war. And the score of the two wars will add together to a combined total. Go for a super wall break. Oh, look at these super wall breaker. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, he used one to target the air defense compartment. And he sent in the other one to try to die against the wall. But it didn't step all the way up. And it didn't open up the wall. Now he's going to rely 100% on luck. To get the queen to follow the king into the base here. Or maybe. Maybe he bails on that wall break. And uh, just lets the king go into the town hall. But now he's going to try to get the queen to walk in. Let's see if she does. Let's see if she opens. Or goes through the open corner. Oh, she's. Come on queen. Wait. Maybe she'll come back. The air defense is down, down the line there. So the queen does come back. Oh man. Looking out big time there. Pops the king ability to keep the beams of the inferno off of his queen. And all of the barbarians that the king generates there. He'll freeze up the super minions inside of the poison to get them down. 
And he'll pop his queen ability to finish off the enemy queen and finish off that CC. The poison did miss there. He froze the he froze the headhunters and the uh, super minions, but the super minions were on the outside of the poison. He got good value though. He was able to recover it. Wasted a couple troops there, but that's okay. He can work with this. Um, his RC went over on the other corner there. She popped her ability and damaged up the scatter shot here, but she ran into some Teslas by the looks of it. We didn't watch her go in, but you can see her uh, knocked out over there on the left hand side. The left hand side. Scatter shot in the middle is being tanked by the uh, Soul Slammer right now, and it's gonna get the pathing into it. Look at this; it's gonna hold the tanking of it. It'll get the pathing into it, and it triggered a bunch of the traps right there, keeping the damage off. There's a bunch of traps triggered. He's still got a ward ability. Oh my gosh, this looks absolutely crushed. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Another triple on the board here for RTK. That is going to put them two stars in the advantage for the series here. One star so far this war here. So Legion Divina is going to have a tough time fighting back from this. They need some big defenses and they need to land some triples on the board of their own. Otherwise, RTK is going to go face the Queen Walkers and meet them in the Grand Finals match. Nice job. All right, here we go. Hunter is live from Legion Divina. Needs to get the triple. Coming in with an Inferno Dragon attack here well balloons to take the air defense on his initial entry got a single inferno there also being tanked by the balloons early ward ability start to drop in the skeleton spells as soon as the first wave of balloons start to die out there then it's immediately replaced by tanking of the the uh, skeleton spells a rage comes down to get it to the town hall balloons and inferno dragon come out of that that inferno dragon immediately locks onto the road champion but then gets sniped off Probably would have been better off with a regular dragon there. The balloons, the excess balloons kind of go to waste. But he'll continue pushing his way through. The queen working on the bottom side, on the outside. He'll need to protect her with the skeleton spells. At this point, the the Inferno Dragons really just need to get through the air defense. If they can get through that, the heroes can clean up the rest of you. He'll freeze up the Royal Champion sweeping in the top flank. The queen's still healthy with her ability on the bottom. He's got another freeze that can protect the Royal Champion. Or he could get the air defense. I think either way, he's got the triple on the board. And the Inferno Dragon Mass Skeleton Spill attack here is going to put a triple on the board here for Legion Divina. That's going to give him a chance here to catch up. That could start the comeback. Here we go, guys. We'll pop him some confetti. We haven't been popping that confetti enough there. But Hunter crushed this base in a minute and a half. Beautiful. Oh, what, what, what was it? What's that? Oh, all right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh no, a troll Tesla or something. And he has to spend his minute and a half to go back for it. All right, all right. Nice attack there. Nice attack. They need a defense. They need a defense. They cannot allow RTK to just shut him out like this. All right. Tiki is live. Here we go with a uh, Pekka Bow Bat. He's got a log launcher for this one. I'm going to the warden walk to kick it off. All right. I guess if he, he has to go through the eagle to make this work. He's in the king on the outside. He wants the P.E.K.K.A.s to provide the tanking and take the healers. And he would prefer that the king goes to the outside and just keeps the funnel tight. And if the king ducks into the arch tower, he will surge back in. And he will keep that funnel very, very solid. Big Tesla farm pops here. You know, get that down early. And he'll right through that. Not a big deal. King pops his ability and he will surge in. Can he go all the way to get the scatter shot? He could, right? But will will he have enough punch? Will he have enough health? He's got a headhunter head in his way. That's going to stall things up there and make it a little bit more difficult. But maybe the bullet bounces. No, the bullet bounces don't quite get it. King will go down to the headhunter. But the main push going strong up the gut of the base here. The bowlers under the rage. Ice golem freezes things up. Needs to get the town hall down, but everything beat through the wall there to go to the queen. The queen drew a lot of it off here. His Royal Champion will come in to get the scatter shot down, but his queen has to get the town hall. He has a freeze. 
and he's gonna need to use it. He has a queen ability though. All right, he can use the queen ability and he can use the freeze to protect the Roar Champion instead. But now he's gonna lose everything to the Multi-Inferno up there. And this, my friends, is the defense. This one did not go to plan at all. And it will be the defense that Legion Divina needed. Wait, am I calling it too soon? Can these bats and RC still finish this? He's got the Ice Golem down. Ice Golem freezes up. If he gets to that Wizard Tower, he can get a little bit further. Get that cannon down. That'll protect the RC. His Queen is still alive. He's got a single Inferno there. That's the biggest obstacle. The Ice Golem freezes it up, though. He's got the tanking from the bats and the balloon there, but it does lock onto the RC. Can the Blues take it and protect the Queen? No freaking way. It's a triple. What? That attack looked dead. And he's going to pull it off here. He's got the cleanup down around the queen. Moving to the final defense. Protecting the rest of the cleanup. And RTK gets the triple on the board. After everything just grinded to a halt in the middle of the base there. But the road champion, the bats, sweep around there. The queen stays alive. And he's got the triple on the board. Holy cow. Legion Divina. We'll stay two stars behind in the series. All right, here we go. Kadeel is live. Coming in with a Queen Charge Hybrid. I started off here with... Uh, what was he trying to do there? I didn't see what troop that was, but he pulled the Tesla. And the Tesla stopped it. Whatever it was. We'll see how I adjust. Super Wallbreaker came down to the bottom corner. It was one of those open corners again. But the Super Wall Breaker died at the proper position to get it open. And the Queen had to come in after the Super Wall Breaker. So the Super Wall Breaker would actually be able to get targeted and actually go down at the right spot. That's going to allow the Queen to more easily step into this Town Hall and make sure that the, the Town Hall goes down. And then she can get the uh, CC pull here in a second too. There's a CC pull. I'd like to get one of these Expos off of her before she engages it, but that's not going to happen. Goes for a Super Wall Breaker down at the... Uh... Ooh! Really, really be careful with your super wall breakers when you're trying to wall break next to the warden. If the warden gets a shot off, it will one shot the super wall breaker. So you got to really pay attention to the the, or the the warden is one of the biggest threats to super wall breakers. If you don't have him tanked, it can mess it up there. But he did get it in all the way. And he got the wall break where he wanted to go. All right, here comes the hybrid. With the King and the Siege Barracks out on the left flank, they're going to keep everything centered, push his way through, freezes up the enemy heroes and the single Inferno, saving the Queen and taking the damage off of the Miner. Scattershot is engaged. He's got another Scattershot coming up in the center of the base there. Scattershot goes down quick, pops the ward ability, catches all of the hogs there. That's going to get him through the Bomb Tower, the Eagle Strikes, and the Scattershot Fire. Looking good here. Scattershot is being engaged by the Royal Champion, but the Royal Champion is potentially going to get pulled off of it to go to the enemy Royal Champion. No, she'll get it down. She'll get it down. He'll need to pop her ability to see. He goes to the enemy world champion, but he has the head under there to help out. He freezes it up to protect her. Keep her alive. Keep her alive. How long can he keep the world champion moving? The hogs of Midas still working nicely along the top of the base while the queen charge still taking the expo. Beam through a wall on the bottom side. Would have loved to see a healer transfer here to the RC, but that didn't happen. The queen doesn't have to come in clutch here at the end. He has one more rage. No heals. And he's going to go through the bomb tower before it goes to the multi inferno. So to soften up all of the miners, allowing this inferno to do overtime. He rages it up there to give a chance to get through. If he gets it, the queen can finish up the rest of the base with the king working along the outside. The inferno goes down and Legion Divina has got the triple that they needed to get their comeback staged. They still have a long way to go, though. They have a long way to go. He'll get out of this one with a Swag Queen ability. And Kadil is going to get the triple here for Legion Divina. We'll see if RTK can respond, though. Because they still can maintain their two-star advantage. But uh, Legion Divina is coming out swinging. Jason is live. Here we go. Coming in with a uh, P.E.K.K.A. P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Simple P.E.K.K.A. Smash here. Using Sneaky Goblins to form the funnel. Or really, just to reduce how much time it takes for the Warden Walk to move through. Warden just going to work his way in without dropping his healers until that air defense is down. Is covering a lot of the healer drop spots there. So he just has to let the Warden work outside of the range of the defense. Is taking advantage of his long range here. 
Now we can drop the healers. He's a couple of Cocoa Loons down. Looking like he is already dropping in Bloons onto the Tessas on the top side, which can also serve as uh, Cocoa Loons to go search for Black Mines in that area. But how far does he want to go with his Warden Walk? Does he want to take the Town Hall? It's looking like he's going for it. He rages up and he leads the Warden. So as soon as he engages the Town Hall, the healer step into the Rage and he'll get it down quick. He needs to get it down by that two minute mark so he can go with the rest of the attack. Which way is he going though? I would go top side here. Because he already had a bunch of balloons go through that area. He knows the healers are going to be safe on that side. But he does ultimately go to the bottom side. He wants to get the enemy heroes down. And he has quicker access to the scatter shots from the bottom side. Reasons for both sides, definitely. But he has super wall break into the multi-inferno. Uh, Ice Golem comes down. And he will throw the siege barracks with the Ice Golem. Alright, I like that. The king will come down as well. The king can take out the enemy king. And let's see if the enemy king goes down to the bowlers here as they push through. Jump only giving him access directly ahead here. He tried to super wall break the king and the P.E.K.K.A. to go to the next compartment. But the wall breaker targeted the wrong wall. And it is not going to give him access to it. But the rest of the troops are in a beeline straight up the core of the base here. Needs the P.E.K.K.A.s to provide as much tanking as possible. So the queen can come in and clutch it at the end. The healer's never transferred. But he can still work with that. We've definitely seen... The Pekkas just clear the way and take out the damage density higher in the base so that the Queen can have enough punch to make it rest of the way through with just a uh, effectively a Queen charge. He has the Hogs coming in through the Royal Champion. Needs to keep the damage off of the Royal Champion, specifically that Warden Statue. And the Hogs are in perfect position to make that happen. Pops his Royal Champion ability. I don't know if that was the right time to pop it there. I don't know about that. The Hogs are still doing good work, though. If he gets through the Multi-Inferno, he has a solid chance of making it through the base. He'll freeze it up. A couple spring traps going off there, but they didn't hit any Hogs. I'm kind of looking out there. I think he's got it, though. Time permitting? 30 seconds? Queen will finish off the rest of the defenses. The Hogs and the Royal Champion will go into cleanup here. He's got a Pekka, and the King survived. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Gotta get back to the storage, but I think he's got enough time. Got a bunch of ground skillies popping on him. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and he gets it on the buzzer! Jason keeping their star advantage, and RTK will stay on top. There's only one path to victory left for Legion Divina. And that is two defenses away from these RTK attackers who are on fire. And then they have to get two triples of their own. Now everybody's using sneaky goblins and super wall breakers and having two super troops there to be able to use that, those for funneling and for entry into the base is made so people are going back to bowlers and putting the super wizards away. So definitely interesting here. Dark Zero. Coming in here with Inferno Dragons. They've been successful with it twice so far in the series. They had one attack that barely fell short with it. And they would love to have that triple add into their total right now, but it's not the case. You use the early ward ability to get them through that initial punch into the base and clear those first compartments where he had a lot of major defenses. Poison comes down. He's got the e Dog working on the other side just to form the funnel. This attack is done pretty much cookie cutter every single time. However, he has to get the town hall down and it's on the opposite side of the base. He could send it from the Inferno Dragon side here and send it through where he already knows that the traps are cleared over there. Or he can wait and he can, he can send it on the other side. He's going to send it through the most direct approach there. Get the Town Hall down right as the Sweeper is there and is getting knocked back a little bit. Getting caught in the Tornado Trap. Doesn't make it all the way through. He's got the Rage down. Blues come out and another Inferno Dragon joins the group. But look how many are left, guys. Look how many are left, and he has the Skeleton Spell in position to tank the last single Inferno. He's got more than enough. He's got a Swag Queen ability, and this is absolutely smashed. And he's going to get it done in a minute and 18 seconds. Mid-19 seconds. Either way, it's a triple. And Legion Divina going to keep their war alive. All right, here we go. Legion Divina desperately needs a defense here. If they can get a defense and then land a triple of their own, then it'll all come down to the final attack to determine the war. We'll see what happens though. Starting off with some lightning in the middle base there to grab out that inferno in the middle. 
that inferno is normally jam-packed with a whole bunch of red mines so by clearing that inferno with the lightning it often makes so a lot of those red mines go to waste because no air troops are going to pass through there and if they do it only catches a couple of them instead of these giant packs that would need to go through there to get the multi-inferno down otherwise so the heroes will work their way in they'll grab the town hall super minions in the back there getting it off of the heroes he could freeze the super minions if he wanted to to try to save the king. We saw an attack very similar to this one in a previous attack, but the queen was bordering the town hall compartment on that one, so he's going to have to deal with the queen as a separate entity here. But he did break the ring of defense. There's a line of uh, no defenses all the way from the center lightning all the way out to where the queen is. And the queen pops her ability and she'll get the RC down, so definitely get some good value there. Queen will grab the air defense, and he's looking really, really strong here. With the Royal Champion down, the Slammer can hold on to its, uh, its dragon inside, and it can move a really long way through the base here. And wait, this is the same base from before. Isn't it? Did he rerun the same base that was already tripled in the previous war? Oh. My. Why would... What? Why would they run the same base that got tripled? They literally ran the same plan again. It's all coming back to me. This is the same base and it's crushed again. Oh, you got to have more bases prepped. You got to change your bases in between wars. And that is going to, that's going to put it out of reach here for Legion Divina. RTK with a two star in their final attack will lock in the win and put it completely out of reach here from Legion Divina. And he's going to get out of it with a swag haste and a swag freeze. And RTK is moving on to the grand finals to face the Queen Walkers. Unless something goes drastically wrong here in the final attack. We don't want to lock it in. We don't want to call it before it's official. But with a star up on the previous war being added into RTK's total. They're going to end this. At a minimum of 25 stars. Potentially go up to 28. Blade is live. Can they at least win this war? Even though they can't. Well, I keep saying can't. It's unlikely that RTK will one star and swing the series. But Legion Divina can still try to get this triple on the board here and win this individual war just for a... Just because, you know, you, you don't want to go down without a, without a fight. You want to go down swinging. Well, we'll see if we can get it in, done here and we'll see if a miracle happens and something goes horribly wrong in RTK's attack. But I have a feeling they're going to go for the safe uh, two star because that's all they need to send themselves to the grand finals to go take on the Queen Walkers. So, Royal Champion will try to get in here and take out that enemy Queen. Needs one more shot on her and then she can get the multi inferno down. Kind of skirting her health pool here. She... Oh, he freezes it to protect her. Needs that freeze there. To maybe... Or to get that Inferno down where he maybe could have missed it if he didn't. Where is this poison? Oh, the poison's on the headhunter. Or it's on the, the super minions, I mean. I was like... I was in there watching the headhunters go after the heroes. And I didn't see that the uh, super minions were not pulled yet. And I couldn't figure out why he wasn't dropping his poison. Uh oh. Queen. Queen. No. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Honestly, a solo balloon could get inside of the. While well, the queen was tanking right there for a second, a solo balloon could have got inside of the range of the scatter shot there. And he said in the stone slammer that did the trick, anyways. But he definitely could have taken it with just a solo balloon. But now he's looking really, really good here to continue through with the Lalo. He's uh, approaching that 50% here. But he needs to hit it right as he gets to Town Hall. That's going to save him a free spell by cutting that short. Cutting that close. And look at that. The Hound's popping. Activate the Town Hall before the 50%. And the Slammer and the Blues are in perfect position. He'll pop the Ward ability. But the Blues that caught away from the Ward ability are getting hit by the Scatter. He's still looking good though. Still looking good. He's got the head on her still. They can go in here and get this enemy RC down. But watch out for the enemy King. The enemy King could... If he drops uh, the headhunters in the wrong spot, the, they could go to the king, but he does drop in the right spot. Waiting for the balloons to arrive. Provide some cover. They will get her down. The slammer is still intact. He's got 50 seconds to clean it up. The balloons... 
will get the uh, defenses down, I think. Slammer is uh, still intact, so we should be able to have some troops come out of there. As soon as the Slammer is tanking, he snipes off the air defense. That'll do the trick there. The Dragon will go to clean up here. Now, does he have the time? Does he have the time? All of his clamp is stuck back on the king. That's going to cause him to group up, and nothing's going to go off to the left. But the balloons are going to end their pathing over on the left side, which is going to put them in the right spot. Need something to go up, though. 20 seconds. Okay, a couple blue split off up. That will guarantee that he makes it through. I guess he had time either way. But Blade coming in here. Now, does a miracle happen? Does something happen with RTK's attack? Or does Legion Divina maybe at least get the win for this individual individual war of the series? But they lit, they ended at 14 stars. Like, had you, you put up 14 stars and you still... Are in a losing position? Like, what the heck? 95%. They're 5% off of the perfect. And they're looking like they're going to lose. Alright, guys. Here we go. The final attack of the series. RTK going for the perfect war now. Legion Defeated with 14 stars on the board there. They have missed their perfect war by 5%. And that might be enough for RTK to go to the Grand Finals here. It's crazy that they can come that close to perfect and only lose by one star in the previous series and still be in the position that they are. But the Queen will work her way in, gets the enemy RC down. He's got a super wall breaker, but where does he want to target on? If I guess if he uh, targets onto the eagle compartment, he can wait for the uh, enemy or enemy uh, grand warden to go down. And it now, okay, there it goes. It'll target the wizard tower. Got to keep it away from that open corner. You cannot wall break onto the corner. Ice golem still protecting the queen, but that ground expo is locked onto her. I don't know that she's gonna step in to get the eagle artillery. I don't think she will. However. He has set up a slammer or a raw champion position to go in here and get this inferno down. He can pop his uh his raw champion building. That'll force the raw champion to go to the expo and go get the eagle artillery down. Does she have enough health though? Freezes it again. Be patient here. Still getting hit. Still getting hit. Does he have enough? Oh, <laughs> gets it on the last strike, and the eagle artillery goes down. A single Tesla popping up anywhere in the area could have thrown it off and made so that he didn't have enough health to get through. But he had exactly enough and the RC clutches the Eagle Artillery. Here comes the Slammer in from the top side. And work his way into this town hall. The Warden is in a good position, but he has something pinging away at him. Is it the Headhunters? He had to go to Ability. But the- Oh no! The Blues take the blast! He has more coming from the top side. The Stone Slammer is still intact. He'll try to get the scatter shot down, but the single furrow locks onto the scatter shot, collapsing it from all directions. The Warden stuck in the back there. He did not follow the group, and the single furrow get locked onto by all the minions and pups there. But the Dragons get targeted. The Blues are regrouping into the Teslas. Is it a triple? I don't know. Time. Time. The blue split like... Did you see the split? Oh my god. That split made so the balloons went in every direction and instantly cleaned up that corner. It's a perfect war from RTK and a 14 to 15 war is what sends us off into the grand finals. RTK locking in their spot. They're going to go face the Queen Walkers in the grand finals of the Lego International Cup. Crazy, crazy war. Beautiful performance here from the teams. That was a hell of a semifinal.